that are here to witness the groundbreaking ceremony of this cement and uh, clicker production line. There you go, Your Excellency. Ah, oh. oh. We have been telling you, as the minister was summarizing in his speech, that if there is peace and we develop infrastructure, the roads and the electricity and so on, people with money will come and invest. That these factories which will make clinker will, will save Uganda $380 million of imported clinker. <laughs> And the factories will create jobs. And they will pay taxes. The government will benefit by taxes. And but I want every Karamojong to also benefit in other ways. This is because you can't all come to work here in the factory. But the workers in the factory don't, don't come with their own gardens. They need food. They need milk. They need beef. This is where other Karamojong can also come in. We, we are beginning to, to move very well now. And I want to thank the people of, of Rupa for this uh, wisdom of organizing themselves into a trust. The benefits they are getting now, the scholarships, the health, health center, the ambulance, all that is what we call corporate social responsibility. So I want to thank the West International Holdings again. Because as you heard, when their operations are fully developed, they will be earning about $900 million. In a year. And that is slightly more than what we are earning from coffee now. Many actors are beginning to know about Uganda as an investment destination. Therefore, uh, anarchists and uh, troublemakers should not play around. The thought of the factory is being Garamoja in advance. And you are all the time asking companies to build factories here. Uganda is richly endowed with a variety of mineral resources. These include marbles, gold, 
copper, cobalt, uh, tin, iron ore, tungsten, beryllium, limestone, salt, phosphates, graphite, lithium, rare earth elements, among others. In promoting the sustainable exploitation of Uganda's minerals, our strategic objective as a government is to promote value addition for employment creation, industrialization, and local content development. The project will produce approximately 6,000 6, tons per day of clinker. Uganda has a present cement production capacity of over 4.5 million tons per year, and the demand is projected to increase by 15% annually on the background of the booming fuel estate sector, as well as the infrastructure and oil and gas projects. Our part as government will endeavor to sustain an enabling environment for investments that ensures that all stakeholders derive the most optimal benefits from mining. From an economic point of view, this factory will stabilize prices. We've, got, we've seen significant uh, variations in prices, sometimes because of exogenous factors, uh, like what, when we had uh, freight and logistics go up more than 300% uh, during the pandemic. But generally, it is also the deficit of Klinka, which comes from India, from Pakistan, from Egypt, and sometimes from China as well. It, therefore, it will also make cement affordable because we are going to meet the deficit that uh, this Klinka is talking about. The cement will constantly be available. It will also eliminate the bulk imports, full import substitution. We reduce public infrastructure costs, building roads, bridges, railways. I would also like to express my heartfelt thanks to all the friends who care about and support the Uganda project. In particular, I would like to express my high respect and sincere thanks to Your Excellency President, who has gave us strong guidance and uh, instant assistance. China Railway, Railway 20th Bureau Group will closely cooperate with the Western West Cement Group to significantly organize construction to ensure project safety, quality, and construction schedule control. So, so when they came to Uganda, uh, this development has been the fastest uh, with the technology is available in their hands and so uh, everything has gone on just smoothly.